There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world It's your girl A. What's up, everybody? So today's video is going to be a voiceover. And this is featuring an Amazon Prime wig, y'all. So this wig seller is Nadula Hair. I've worked with them plenty of times. So I will definitely link everything down below. But this is one of those pre-max wigs, you know, pre-cut, pre-bleach, pre-styled. It does only come with one comb. It's a 13 by four. It comes with an elastic band that's removable. And girl, yes, I did go ahead and wash the unit. As you guys see, it's pre-bleached and pre-cut. And the first thing you want to do prior to installing any wig is cleaning off your hairline. So like I said, it is a pre-everything wig, which is pre-cut, pre-bleached, pre-plucked, and it was pre-styled, girl, but like I said, I washed it. So anyway, you guys, it does come with tape also already on the unit, but I really don't use the tape like that. So I'm gonna just remove it prior to spraying the unit. Now I did wash the unit. So the pre-style part is gone. The reason why I washed it and I really feel like you should wash your unit is because when you get a wig from a lot of wig vendors, especially when it's silky hair, it kind of looks frizzy and dry. I don't honestly think that they put condition in it. So to change the texture and make the hair more manageable, I would definitely say co-wash the unit. Now you know this is glueless because we don't do glue on this channel, but I do like to do hairspray. Now you use whatever hairspray you want, girl, but this Aussie Instant Freeze I have been using for years. And if I've been using it that long, it means it works. Now this was the first layer of hairspray that I put on. You definitely want to make sure that it's dry and tacky feeling prior to spraying on your second layer. As well as that, this hairspray is very affordable. So I would definitely say, try it out and let me know what you think. It dries super duper fast. So as you see, I am spraying on layer number two and this dries awful fast. So you wanna make sure that it gets tacky prior to spraying on layer three. Now as for layer three or whatever final layer that I do, I always kind of spray it on or apply the lace rather, kind of semi wet on the unit now what i mean is once i'm done and ready to put on the final layer i will spray a little bit on one half of my head and i'll let let it be semi-wet and then i'll apply the lace and then once i have sprayed that side i'll go on to the next side and spray the lace excuse me spray the hairspray and then i'll pull the lace down this dries super fast so that's why on my final layer i just spray one half of my head versus both because the hairspray dries even quicker the more layers you spray but when i do my final layer the reason why i like to spray it on and then apply the unit semi-wet is because it will definitely help with the melt now being that we already got that squared away i went ahead you seen and put on the black elastic melting band just so that way my wig could kind of like stick curate dry and melt and while that's doing that girl i'm gonna go ahead and make this part a little bit more predominant you know what i'm saying with my hot comb now i really do prefer to use a hot comb on a mannequin head because girl listen i don't want any of my skin being attached to the hot comb and trust me when i tell you i have been there i don't be wanting none of those hot burn hot comb scars 
Now, did I say, I did mention that this wig is from Amazon. And y'all already know what I say about Amazon. Amazon Prime, get your shit on time, girl. I love Amazon. They're about to have Prime Day, so make sure you check that out. But Nadula has some pretty decent hair. It's budget friendly. So if you want a wig as a first timer, or you just want to add some to your collection, you could definitely check them out. Like I said, they're on Amazon as well. And I've worked with them quite a few times. Very affordable units. And this one right here is a 24 inch, 180% density, 13 by four highlighted body wave, pre-cut, pre-laced, pre-everything unit. Now it's time to customize this hairline because it probably do look a little bit thick at the hairline, but trust me, you can easily go ahead and pluck the hairline out if you choose to, or you can use your hot comb. But when you're using your hot comb to make your hairline look thinner, girl, please do it on a canvas block mannequin head. Now I'm just gonna take a couple of tweezers and pluck, pluck out a little bit, but because I didn't pre-plug the unit prior to this, which I should have, I'm just gonna put some baby hairs in it to hide away the edges. And the edges are not that bad. You can definitely make them look small, smoother and fit a lot more flush to your hairline if you use mousse and just lay it down for a while. But I'm going to just do this for video sake because I think it's a look definitely cute. And I just went ahead and parted where I want the baby hairs to go. And then I'm just going to use the hot comb once more and then my small scissors to cut this hair. Now the product that I like to use to mold any of my baby hairs or flyaways is a styling mousse, which is by Mark Anthony. It does state that the styling mousse is only strictly for curls, but girl, I use this for any time of any type of hair, whether it be curly or straight. I only use it on my actual sideburn hairs or baby hairs because this is a really great product. It holds down well. It doesn't turn into a watery substance quickly. It just really holds its foam. So that's the one thing that I do like about this particular foam. Now it isn't too expensive. It's about $7 on Amazon. You can also find it at Walmart as well. And it does hold down. It doesn't adhere, but it will definitely sculpt. It doesn't make your hair hard and crunchy. And once you're done with the sculpting and you've allowed it to dry, you can easily pull the hair up from it sticking onto your skin. Now just a quick tutorial on curling my hair because you already know how that goes. This unit was easy to curl. It was especially easier because I washed it. And once I co-washed it, it did transform the unit into softer, more manageable hair. I do notice when you do get the units and they're already styled, once you brush them, there are so many flyaways or just a lot of just dryness. So I would highly suggest co-washing your hair once you receive it. It will make a huge difference. And as you guys can see, these highlights are definitely popping. I do wish that some of them would have been blended in a little bit more, but if you choose to depart it on the opposite side i'm pretty sure the highlights will look a lot better now here is the final reveal on this nadula wig i like the color but those of you guys who love like a honey blonde with some streaks or highlights you'll definitely want to check out them on amazon amazon prime get your shit on time girl when i tell you about amazon super quick fast shipping you know what i mean affordable items and easy returns always but like I stated, I will link everything down below for Nadula hair. Let me know what y'all think about this unit. I like the color. I do like that. I like the fact that these units are just readily available. You don't have to do anything. So I would definitely say that these would be great for beginners or for those who are just lazy and just need something that's already done. Me per se, I love to bleach my own units, but girl, I am getting very spoiled with all of these pre-everything units. It makes life so much more easier. Though I'm not a huge middle part girl, and this did come in the middle part, I should have just went ahead and styled it elsewhere. But I love you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.